Hey YouTube, just a quick video here, my thoughts on multi-tools uh, for everyday care use. I'm going to kind of go through some of the multi-tools I have. I, I really don't have that many, but I'll go through some of the ones I have and kind of talk about the pros, cons, and just kind of my thoughts in general on multi-tools. Um, this first one here I'll talk about, uh, this is the original Leatherman tool. Uh, they don't even make this design anymore. Um, but anyway, just a cool, uh, this is kind of what I think of when I think of multi-tools. You know, my grandpa always carried a multi-tool on his belt, and he carried one very similar to this, just the, you know, kind of the stainless finish there, had the pliers on it and everything else. Um, these are great. Uh, I really like these. They're, I think they're cool looking. I think just for nostalgia, you know, it makes me think of my, my grandparents. And, um, you know, if you have this on you, you're going to be able to tackle most jobs. It's very versatile. It's got a lot of different tools in it. Um, pretty good sized blade on it. Um, it's got a dedicated pliers. Um, so a great multi-tool. Um, comes usually in a, some kind of pouch you can carry in your belt or whatever. Um, the biggest con with this one, the reason I very, very, very rarely carry it is just because of the size. It's just big and um, not super comfortable. And um, also to me, it just, you know, having this on your belt, uh, just kind of, um, I don't know, I like to be a little bit more uh, subdued, a little more, um, you know, a gray man or whatever you want to call it. And just have a, have a, multi-tool I can just slide in my pocket so that people don't know I'm carrying a multi-tool but um, anyway this is a great multi-tool and if if you like the look of these the older you know ones or even the full size the newer ones um, you know you're going to get a lot of use out of it um, I found though too and I did carry this one the tools that I was using most frequently are the same tools you can um, you know that are found on a smaller Leatherman so um, I don't carry this one a lot I do I really like it I think it's a great tool but it's just for me I don't carry it a ton just because of the size um, this one here was a gift, and this is just, you know, just kind of to show the next level down in size. There's some, some of these kind of medium-sized ones. And to me, these kind of medium-sized ones are kind of just a waste of time. Uh, you know, it's like, to me, if you're either going to carry something small, carry something small. Um, or if you want something that's, you know, uh, has more tools, a little bigger, just go for the big. The medium one kind of, to me, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, it does have pliers and stuff. They're a little bit better than the small one, probably, but not as good as the big one. Um, I just kind of I don't I don't love these, and especially the ones that are like kind of the off-brand. This one's a Cabela's. They're usually just kind of poorly made, in my opinion. Um, so uh, nothing against Cabela's, but uh, just you know, kind of in general, if it was me, if I'm going to buy one, I'm going to get a known brand like a Leatherman or a, a Victorinox or whatever. So anyway, the medium-sized ones to me are kind of. This is kind of what you see a lot like in stockings and they give them away when you buy something, you know, you get a free little multi-tool. And to me, a lot of these ones are kind of the, eh. Usually with these, I end up giving them to my wife and she, you know, likes to carry up one like this size in her purse or whatever. And that's kind of, they're good for that or to throw them in a glove box or a bug out bag, whatever, I guess, if you had extra ones. But to me, if I was going to carry one on me, I'd probably skip the medium size one and either go with the large or the small. Um, this one's a great multi-tool. This is uh, the Leatherman Squirt PS4. There's lots of video reviews and stuff of these out there. They're awesome and they're so small. Um, this is a multi-tool that I do carry a fair amount. Um, it slides right into like that front kind of watch pocket of a lot of pants and shorts and stuff. And you forget it's even there and it's there when you need it. It's got a lot of good tools on it. Screwdrivers and a file and pliers and just a great little multi-tool. It's got so much packed into this really small package. It's light. Um, it's handy. So... To me, it's why I end up carrying this one more. Is it a better multi-tool than this one? Absolutely not, but it's one that I'll carry more often, so for me, it's a better tool. Um, this is just kind of a fun one. It's uh, probably even smaller. It's a little bit wider, but it's so thin. This is one you can just drop in your pocket. This is a Swiss Tech uh, multi-tool. It's got um, different screwdrivers on here. Let me open this up for you so you can see this. Oops. Um, so it's got you know a plier on there. It's got um, different screwdrivers, you know, big and small, so if you're like working on a pair of eyeglasses or whatever. So kind of a cool little multi-tool, and then, um, you know, once you fold up the sides, it just locks it all up so it doesn't move. Um, so it's really kind of a cool tool, um, especially for how small it is. I've kind of found that it's kind of hard to use. It's not, um, you know, it's kind of almost, I don't know, almost more for show. I think the, um, some of the tools on there aren't, I mean, this, the screwdrivers work great, but the pliers are are not nearly as nice as like on a Leatherman. Um, they're, you know, not super functional, but not bad, um, especially for how small it is. Kind of a fun one. Um, I got this one from a pawn shop. I think I paid like five bucks or something for it. It was cheap, but 
Um, I just thought it was cool for something super, super small. You know, if you go in kind of more James Bond and you want the smallest possible tool, this is a real small one that still gives you some, some functionality. So, um, The one I end up carrying the most often is the Victorinox Cadet. And a lot of people wouldn't even consider this a multi-tool, but um, I do. It's got um, you know some screwdriver heads and a uh, file and a knife. and uh, It's real small, real thin. Um, to me, I like it because it kind of doubles. You know, I've got a blade on there. That's uh, you know a usable blade, where the blade on this is real small. I mean, it's usable, you know, for opening small packages and things. But I like to have a little bit bigger blade, and this is about the smallest blade I want to carry on me. Um, but it's also got these other tools on it. So to me, this is kind of a great way to um, you know, kind of an EDC hack is to carry a, a pocket knife that has some of these multi tools on it. You know, and I don't, I have some of the bigger Victorinox knives that have you know a million things on them, and you know corkscrew and all these other things and um, I just I, I don't find that I use those so um, this one to me is the smallest but it's got a lot of good tools on there that I do you find myself using um, so this has kind of been what I've carried the most often uh, typically I'll carry either this or I'll carry a bigger bigger folding knife and I'll carry the small multi-tool if, if I if I do that the Leatherman squirt but a lot of times I just carry this and it kind of takes the place of my blade and of my multi-tool so um, I like to carry less stuff. So anyway, this the Victorinox Cadet is a great, uh, great knife for that. Great multi-tool. Um, this last thing I just want to point out. This is just kind of a bonus here. Um, a lot of you guys have seen these uh, kind of credit card multi-tools, and I've got a couple other ones. Um, but most of the time, they contain these same tools, like that are on these. You know, they'll have different screwdrivers and bottle opener and a little saw and all that stuff. But this one I thought was an interesting one. Somebody gave me this. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got all these different fishing hooks. It's more of like a survival one. It's got sewing needles, fishing hooks, um, arrowheads. So anyway, just kind of a cool one. It does have a little saw on there. Um, so I just thought this was something different. I hadn't seen this one before, so I just thought I'd show it. Yeah, it's made by Rumba Doc. Um, but anyway, you probably find it on Amazon or eBay or whatever. But I don't think they're. I think they're pretty inexpensive. But I just thought this was something cool for. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't want to carry these items with you every day, probably like fishing hooks and sewing sewing needles, but it's a great thing, I think, for, you know, for a car kit or for a bug-out bag because um, it takes up no space, and, you know, you throw it in, in a bug-out bag or whatever, and then you've got it when you need it, and, you know, those fishing hooks and sewing needles and stuff, and for, you know, probably a dollar or two. So, anyway, I thought this was just kind of cool. I just thought I'd share this. Um, in general, I'm not a huge fan of credit card pocket tools. I do have, um, you know, I think I bought... Uh, a lot of credit card pocket tools. It was like four or five of them for like two or three dollars. So I've got them in each of our cars, and I've got a couple floating around. But I've honestly never even had it had a, a found a use for one. But it's kind of one of those things. It's just good to know that you have it. So anyway, guys, just kind of just kind of some of my thoughts on EDC multi tools. Um, this isn't all the multi tools that I have, but it's most of them, and it's just a kind of a wide range. I thought so. Just kind of sharing my thoughts um, on EDC multi tools. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. God bless.